we we'll be talking about uh, debugging a performance issue of a distributed system so how many of you it's fine how many of you ever been into a place where you need to distribute uh, like debug the performance of a distributed system right it's it's quite obvious that, and we know the pain of uh, looking into it so the first things first uh, so i am expecting the audience to know a bit about distributed systems microservices and uh, message streaming platforms and uh, looking into a very uh, if if i if if you look into the architecture that we were developing on like from 30 floors above this is a bird's eye view this is an oracle db and we are pulling some data from the oracle db and we are putting uh, we are aggregating that data and putting into kafka platform for streaming it and then the publisher is the one which consumes and it publishes to the api services and finally we write that into redis db the redis is here uh, it's not a cache it's a enterprise version it's a, it's a disk persistent okay i mean everyone is aware of these systems right any doubts here okay fine so ever heard of this poem by dylan thomas do not go gentle into that good night if you have seen interstellar it's a great poem i like it a lot but when i uh, when you are actually going into the debugging the dis distributed system i say do go gentle into the deep night so capture the metrics of the existing system first so leverage all the dashboards logs that you have written in in your code basically we write logs in the code right so leverage these logs to get the io operations or thread pulling or api calls that all your systems are happening and keep a note on memory usage and cpu usage of each instance and you can use jvm profilers etc to to get the profiles of these and uh, and dashboards i mean we just had a talk about dashboards so dashboards actually they drastically bring down your debug time so i would say invest time while developing only on dashboards so once your mvp of your system is built the immediate task for you should be developing these dashboards so how many of you are aware of trace traces for the data flow so every that every data that is entering the system and leaving the system you should be it should be uh, tagged with a trace id so there are many open source libraries that are that are available and you can use those libraries so they can they will produce a, a unique id for each message that is entering the system and exiting the system catching hold of this trace id you can look throughout the system where your uh, where your message is going and uh, and yes and think before you mess up with the default configurations of a system for example in our case we had an sla we have a service level agree agreement that the, the data that is being pulled from the oracle should reach redis within 1 minute so aggregator was able to pull around uh, uh, around like 2 lakh payloads per minute from the from the oracle and and publisher was able to consume only around 2000 payloads per minute so and then we tried we tried spawning up the instances we tried re reducing the instances of uh, data aggregator again we had challenges in spawning up because the topics we were using in kafka we had 25 partitions so the consumer groups the consumers that the publisher has should be divisible by 25 it should be either 1 or 5 or 25 because if it is other than these the it will be a wastage of resources because the consumers won't get equally distributed among the partitions so it should be either 5 1 5 or 25 so we had these challenges we can't scale up we, we can't auto scale it we need to scale them as the requirement comes as as the uh, data per if you imagine there is a uh, market per data uh, data per market so we will spawn up those instances which are pulling for that market to to make the load balance so yeah coming coming to that the uh, missing the default uh, configuration so what we did is we were playing with the kafka's uh, default configurations like changing the retention time and then changing the number of uh, pay, i mean records that are being consumed by the publisher per per consumption like we can we can control that we can have like 10 records being consumed per time and we can take it up to 500 records so and then we can uh, we can also configure kafka consumption for max max wait time like if you you took a payload and then before processing this payload you you can stop the acknowledgement to the kafka that you have consumed this so that that's that's what we were playing with and then uh, we felt we were actually going into a deeper mess so i would say default configurations are default for for a reason they have been tested properly and then they are made reasons so without 
properly looking into your system do not miss the default configurations of any distributed system and then i would done yeah quickly check out the architecture write it on a white paper and then look into each service and then it's not always a count of instances so your system should be tested per instance and then spawn up for the complete instances and divide and conquer kill each each part of your system get the logs see where is a where is a problem and then fix it yeah thanks